coming down Ludlow is a pretty good clip and there's the intersection before you realize it. There's been at least three I first became interested in alternative energy back in the 1970s when the United States went under its first oil embargo. At that time I lived in a mobile home and I was uh, running that mobile home off of a homemade wind turbine and uh, some batteries that I had obtained off of the uh, telephone company at that time. The uh, system worked but it seemed like the um, design of my windmills lacked a little bit to be desired so I was always uh, climbing up the tower and uh, um, fixing it. But I uh, hope you'll have a look around here uh, with me uh, in the next few uh, moments and we'll take a look at what's going on here as far as alternative energy. We're outside looking at the uh, at the home and as you can see on the porch roof I have um, uh, two solar hot water heating panels and then moving up to the left side here uh, you can see uh, the 12 uh, solar boutique panels and down here we have the all-electric car this car has been on the road for the last five years has a 70 mile an hour top speed and an overall range of 50 miles per charge. Okay, we're looking up the tower and this is the uh, 400 watt Air X wind charger and coming down the tower here just to the left is the weather station and this would be the transmit antenna for the six meter repeater here at the house. Well there's certainly going to be days with uh, very low sun or maybe it's at night and uh, you don't have any uh, solar thermal energy or solar electricity and we're going to be running the batteries down by pulling too much current. On days like that uh, we have here a generator. Actually I call it my generator shed. Now right here is a 12 horsepower gasoline engine and it's powering right here a 12 volt uh, automotive alternator and what this does is when I start this up electrically uh, it will charge the batteries manually inside the house at uh, about 20-25 amps rate we're down in the basement where all the controls come together right here at the, uh, I call it the command center. And this unit here at the top is hooked um, wirelessly to the weather instruments on the tower you saw. This voltmeter is registering 13.77 volts. That's the overall uh, voltage rate in the battery bank at this time. And we have very little solar energy at this point. I think the clouds must be covering the stun at this point. And the wind isn't blowing and we're not getting anything out of the generator because there's no need for it to be on as long as the um, batteries are up to power and they are. There's the 50 amp fuse for the wind turbine and the kill switch for the uh, solar panels. I'm going to back out here a little bit and come down here and show you the battery array. This is uh, 12 deep cycle marine batteries and they're all built into a into a containment box here with the plexiglass on top so that we can see everything inside. I wanted it to be that way for solar tour. And you probably hear a circulating fan which keeps uh, air moving inside the um, inside the uh, box so that uh, we can vent any hydrogen that may accumulate there. And here we have the 2000 continuous watt inverter that is running a lot of the things in the house. And we just move back up here and you'll see that these are the control boxes uh, for the 12 panels on the roof. Uh, regulators. I'm going to back up even further and show you that there is a, a storage tank here. This is full of um, 
275 gallons of very, very hot water that was uh, circulated through the uh, two solar thermal panels on the porch roof. And if we can look right up here, here is the uh, circulating pump. And it's not on at the time because the water is already sitting at 121.8 degrees. Now before the water from the uh, panels reaches this point of the big tank, the water first circulates over here to this domestic hot water tank. This tank is wrapped with 100 feet of automotive heater hose that transfers the heat from the water from the panels from the outside into the tank. And the hot water tank right now, we have a meter here, and I don't know if I can get up here to see it. If you could see it, it would be sitting at 101.3, and I know that's not showing up on camera. So we're moving back here. And the hot water from the big tank circulates from a um, uh, uh, submersible pump through a heat exchanger, which is uh, this box. Inside this box there's a heat exchanger and a fan uh, controlled by a controller of my own design. Thermostat operated from in the house. And when the thermostat calls for heat, the pump will pump water from the tank through the heat exchanger and the uh, fan inside this box will blow it up through the central register in the house.